Uh, hello, well, today I want to show you how to create curved text with GIMP. And we start out by uh, creating a path. And we need this path to uh, determine where this text is supposed to go along. Let's see, I pick the path tool on the from the toolbox and I'm creating my path here where I want the text to be. And as soon as I have done this, I'm going here to the back to the toolbox and I just select the uh, text tool and I just simply type in the text that I want and I'm going to select the font and the uh, text size. I'm just going to call this here how to create curved text. And as soon as I have done that, I'm going here to the right side, to the layers, and I'm going to create a new layer. And that's the layer that we, we are going to put the curved text into. That's where it's going to be placed in. So I'm going to give this a name here. For example, curved text one. And now I am going to select the layer with my text here. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say text along path. And now you can already see here how this is going to look like. And now I'm selecting my new layer where I want the curved text to be created in. And now you go here to the path tab, uh, panel and you can see here here it is my text and I'm going to select here add to selection and now you can see how the new text here is highlighted and by using the bucket tool you can just fill in the entire highlighted area and now we go back here on the right side you can see here in the layer there's my text and now in case let me move this a little bit to the right spot first by moving this layer a little bit. Okay. And now let's say I want to have the same text again in a different color. So I just create a, an additional layer here. I'm going to call it curved text number two. Okay, and now I go back here to the path. And again, I say, path to selection and again the text here is the curved text is highlighted and again I'm using the bucket tool and I'm picking a different color and now I'm selecting white and now I got the curved text here in white so you can create multiple instances really easy and now let me uh, move this text a little bit to line it up with the first one and then I'm cleaning up here a little bit just, just to make it look nice. You can remove the path and then also disable here the layer of the first text. See, yeah, okay, so this is how it's done. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions then please leave a comment below.